Today we're going to talk Pilates breath versus yoga breath. Pilates style of breathing versus yoga style of breathing. And uh, this is a super interesting, a uh, little bit deeper dive into um, yoga, uh, excuse me, breath intentions uh, for each of the, um, the different uh, modalities. So, of course, yoga is ancient, thousands of years of history. Uh, there's many different ways of breathing, but you can think of some, some basic, some foundations of yoga breathing. First, in through the nose and out through the nose. Now, this is designed uh, to increase the size of the airway, um, to uh, stimulate the um, parasympathetic nervous <clears throat> uh, system, um, to essentially to relax our bodies. Um, the other, um, another cue for yoga is to uh, fill the diaphragm with air, to expand the diaphragm, creating a deep diaphragmatic breath. And then as you exhale, you con contract. Then pelvic floor, transverse abdominals, deep internal obliques, right? The deep core muscles helping contract. So inhale, expand, exhale, contract. Well, that's designed to expand the abdominal cavity to relieve tension from uh, the, the gastrointestinal tract and, and other organs. Um, and also to create a more spiritual connection down up and down the chakra, right? Uh, going all the way down to the root chakra uh, with the breath and then all the way up through the crown um, chakra with the uh, inhalation. So um, really getting the body and the breath um, harmonized. Uh, now your Pilates breath, your classic Pilates breath is designed to stabilize the spine as the number one priority. And therefore, that's why Pilates breath is always encouraging or requesting a deep abs draw. Deep abs draw, pelvic floor in and up. Deep abs draw, pelvic floor in and up. That deep transverse abdominal draw that stacking of the posture, that's gonna engage all those deep front line muscle, uh, muscle chains uh, to fire up and stabilize because um, the body's about to move. So you can see right there, Pilates' number one goal is stability. <clears throat> uh, breath, breath work goal is instability. And, and yoga is promoting movement. So a little bit different, um, different priorities there, right? Now the breath pattern in Pilates, in through the nose, out through soft lips, out through soft lips. You're regulating the amount of pressure coming out. You can go faster, you can go slower, you can go wider mouth, narrower mouth, you can regulate the pressure and the pace of your breath better through your mouth than you can through your nose. The nose is going to force you to uh, relax more, but the mouth breathing is going to allow you to get up to faster bursts of staccato breath, um, as well as, say, heavier um, breathing, say, through um, higher impact exercise, um, like weightlifting. Um, so, um, Pilates breath in through the nose and down to the lower back lobes of the lungs. The lower lobes of the lungs. The way you send the deep breath into the lower lobes of the lungs and not into the diaphragm is you draw the abdomen inwards. You keep the abdomen drawn inwards as you breathe in. Then the breath has to fill in this chest cavity all back here, lower back lobes of the lungs, right back here, lateral. Some schools of uh, Pilates call this lateral rib cage breathing. The way you can know you're in lateral rib cage breathing is by you can put a hand on your chest and a hand on your abdomen, and then you can feel when you take a deep breath in. Neither your chest nor your abdomen lift up and down. Your, your chest stays still, breath goes past the chest. 
The abdomen stays drawn in. Breath goes around into the lower back lobes of the lungs. So you're designed to take a really deep breath in Pilates. But since your number one goal is stability, therefore we're not going to get that extra amount of expansion through the diaphragm. We're going to have to keep the, um, the abdomen, the transverse abdominals and pelvic floor. You could call it the pelvic core. The pelvic core all drawing inward, staying engaged as you do your movements. So um, hopefully that gets you a little bit more um, understanding of Pilates um, versus yoga style breathing. Both such beautiful ways to breathe um, um, mindfully. And um, I like to practice a little bit of both style breathing, um, Pilates and yoga style breathing in my Pilates and in, then in my yoga classes as well. So in Pilates class, when, when you're recovering from ab work, you can slip yoga style breathing, diaphragmatic breathing in as people are recovering their abs. And that feels really good just laying on their back, holding a little Pilates baby on your back and then uh, uh, filling the diaphragm with air. Then for yoga, um, I only really teach vinyasa yoga, uh, which I really love to do. Um, but what, so to me, good vinyasa always has a, a good amount of focus on a core. Um, it's just one of the 99 different layers of, uh, that you could be practicing on in yoga. Um, but you can slip Pilates style breathing into your, um, yoga core work. Um, and Pilates style breath regulation, the regulation of the pressure, uh, using the different breath and mouth shapes is going to help you teach more effective core work. It's going to be better breathing for core work than your uh, traditional yoga breath. So that's ways you can uh, add a bit of the mindful, intentional breathing of both Pilates and yoga into um, each other's classes and uh, keep uh, creating uh, even more harmony between the methods. All right. Enjoy. See you next time. Bye.